To add a curtain in the design, simply go to the Insert tab and select on Furnish. Here and select All. And there, as you go down in the left-hand panel, select the Curtain option. Here in the carousel that opens up, you can see there are various types of curtains. You can simply select one of them, whichever is most suitable to your design, and load it into your design. In 3D, the curtain will align itself to the wall. So you can simply place anywhere to place it once. If you check in the floor plan as well, you will be able to adjust the position of the curtain better without tampering with its height. When the curtain is selected, you can see that in the left-hand panel, there are several properties that you can change. Most importantly, you can change the width and height of the curtain. Let's say, I'm now going to make the width of this slightly less. And likewise, I will change the height of the curtain. Here you can see in the positions tab, it can also change the elevation of the curtain in the Y axis field. You can also go down to the materials drop down and change the material of the same. Here, we can click on the drop down menu on the top of the carousel and select an appropriate material such as fabric. We can choose from this existing carousel or we can add our own finishes as well. Let's say I will just go with gray mosaic. You can even mirror the curtain across the window simply by selecting the curtain, going to floor plan, clicking on the draw tab and then the mirror tool, setting the mode to copy in the left hand panel and then defining the mirror axis by clicking on the center of the window and clicking perpendicularly downwards. Now in 3D you can see that I've mirrored the curtains just so.